In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how you can use AI to apply for grants. No more will you need to pay for a grant writer, a virtual assistant. And so now there's no reason for any more excuses, no self rejection. We're not going to disqualify ourselves before we even apply. By the end of this, we're going to be able to apply to these grants, get this free money and secure it in less than half the time. In order to have ChatGPT help you out, you first need to know what what it is. And so ChatGPT is an AI powered chatbot that can assist you with a variety of different tasks. Anything from helping you with a grocery list when you're shopping at the store to creating a complicated website for your business. And when it comes to grants, think of ChatGPT as a helpful friend that's going to help you in every single step of the process. ChatGPT will answer all of your questions and for sure will never leave you on red. And so you might be wondering, how does ChatGPT actually work? Well, you need to enter in questions or prompts into the chat window. The way that you access that window is by going to chat.openai.com. From there, you'll need to enter in an email and password. Once you verify that email, you are good to go. And so here we are on ChatGPT. We are ready now to get started. The first question we need to answer is, are we eligible for the grant? And so let's go to the Inc. File Small Business Grant. And so I'm going to copy and paste these requirements. And then I'm going to enter in a question into ChatGPT. Act as if you are an expert grant writer when answering this question. And so the question is, do you think ChatGPT is going to say yes or no? I'm going to then paste the requirements included in the grant description. And so now we wait for ChatGPT to respond. And so as we see, it says, Thank you for your question. Unfortunately, based on requirements you provided, it appears that you are not eligible to apply for this particular grant. As you mentioned, the grant requires applicants to be 21 years or older, which means that you are not eligible to apply at this time. However, I encourage you to continue pursuing your entrepreneurial dreams and exploring other opportunities to fund your business idea. You may consider seeking support from local resources such as business incubators or accelerators, which can provide guidance mentorship and resources to help you grow your business. And so it does correctly tell me that I do not qualify for this grant. And so in the second case, ChatGPT can help you fill out the grant application. In order to get the questions that we need to ask ChatGPT to answer for us, we need to apply for the grant. And so here we are at the application. First, you need to fill out your basic information and briefly tell us about your entrepreneurial journey. Second, you need to submit a two minute video telling us how entrepreneurship will impact your life. And third, you really need to submit that video. And so the first part of the grant application is basic information. You know your name, your email, and your date of birth. In the second part where it has the short response questions is where ChatGPT can make a huge difference. And so the first question asks, what inspires you to become an entrepreneur? And make sure that for all of these short response questions, it needs to be answered in 100 to 250 words. And so when you're doing this part, make sure to have a Google document open so you can fact check the word count. That's one thing that I've seen ChatGPT stumble a bit on is making sure the words are counted correctly, but you're gonna fact check it with the word document. And so what we need to do is copy and paste this question. We're going to go back to ChatGPT and we're going to ask ChatGPT to answer this question for us. To break this down, I told ChatGPT what person to act as. In addition, I told ChatGPT what question it needed to answer, what tone of voice to use, as well as what writing style to use. Then I gave it context about me. I said I started my business to help take care of a sick family member and get free from a nine to five job. Make sure to respond in 100 to 250 words. And so you can decide what kind of tone of voice you want, as well as the writing style. Deciding on a tone of voice, as well as a writing style, separates how ChatGPT will respond to you versus all of the other people that are entering in a similar prompt. And so you really control how ChatGPT will respond. And so let's see what ChatGPT says. And so here we have a short description. It says, hi there, it's great to have the opportunity to share my story with you. And as you see, they clearly reworded the question 
in the response. And so to grant sponsors, they know that we're gonna get this question answered. And so for me, the decision to become an entrepreneur was born out of a desire to have more control over my life and my ability to take care of my family. In 2020, a family member became ill and I found myself needing to be available to provide care and support. However, my nine to five job didn't allow for the flexibility I needed to do so. I realized that I needed to find a way to support myself and my family while also being able to prioritize our health and well-being. That's when I decided to take the plunge and start my own business. Being an entrepreneur has given me the freedom and flexibility to be there for my family when they need me most, but it's also given me a sense of purpose and fulfillment that I never found in my previous career. As a business owner, I have the opportunity to create something meaningful and impactful while also making a living doing what I love. I'm grateful every day for the opportunity to pursue my passion and support my family in the way that works best for us. Thank you for considering my application and for giving me the chance to share my story with you. And so personally for me, I like hearing motivational stories and I feel like this falls perfectly into that category. And so I want to real quick check the word count for this. And so I'm gonna copy and paste it, not including the first sentence because I think that intro isn't needed. Control C and then I'm gonna control V into the word document. And so all I have to do is go to tools and then word count, and then it'll let me know how long it is. And so it says it's 230 words. And if we go back to our word count, it's supposed to be more than 100 and less than 250. And so it works perfectly. And so the more you tell ChatGPT about your background and your story, the better it'll be at giving a description. But make sure not to share personal information like your phone number or your social security card number. And so now that I've fact checked the word count, I'm gonna copy and paste this into the question in the grant application. And now I'm ready to go on to the next question. It says, what do you think is the difference between a business that succeeds in a business that fails and so let me copy and paste this you might get a warning sign that pops up it's completely fine you're gonna fill it out and then the warning will go away and so now we're gonna go back into chat GBT. we're gonna copy the same instructions but we're gonna change out the question what do you think is the difference between a business that succeeds and a business that fails and so in this case I want the tone to not be friendly and energetic I want to change it to be motivational inspiring tone of voice. And I'm gonna change the writing style to a descriptive writing style. And so in this case, I don't need to give background information about myself. And so I'm gonna hit enter and see what ChatGPT gives me. In my experience, the key difference lies in a combination of factors, including planning, passion, and perseverance. First and foremost, successful businesses have a clear plan and vision for their future. They understand their market and competition and have a strategic plan for growth and sustainability. This allows them to make informed decisions and stay on track, even when faced with challenges. Additionally, successful businesses are driven by passion. They are passionate about their product or service, and they believe in the value they are providing to their customers. This passion fuels their determination, and inspires them to keep pushing forward, even in the face of obstacles. Finally, successful businesses have perseverance. They are willing to put in the time, effort, and hard work required to achieve their goals. They are adaptable and willing to pivot when necessary, but they never give up on their vision. In contrast, businesses that fail often lack a clear plan and vision. They may have a great idea, but struggle to execute it effectively. Additionally, they may lack passion and commitment, which can make it difficult to stay motivated and overcome challenges. Ultimately, the difference between success and failure in business comes down down to planning, passion, and perseverance. By cultivating these qualities and staying focused on your goals, you can create a thriving and successful business that makes a positive impact on the world. So there we have it. This sounds pretty good to me. If I saw a grant application that included this much detail, I would be throwing them my money. And so if this doesn't sound like your tone of voice, you can change it. You can copy and paste what you wrote before and ask ChatGPT to give a different tone of voice. And so I'm gonna change the voice to sarcastic as well as the writing style. And so you're gonna see a huge difference. So now let's read the new response. Well, in my extensive experience as a successful business owner and grant writer, I have come to the conclusion that the difference between a business that succeeds and one that fails is simply luck. Yes, that's right, luck. 
Successful businesses just happen to be in the right place at the right time, with the right idea and the right team, while unsuccessful businesses are just unlucky and can't catch a break. It's all just a game of chance, really. I mean, who needs a solid business plan, market research, or a unique value proposition when you can just rely on good old fashioned luck? And don't even bother with passion or hard work because those things have nothing to do with success. So if you want to start a successful business, just cross your fingers and hope for the best. It's really that simple. Or maybe, just maybe, the truth is, is that success in business is a combination of many factors, including planning, execution, passion, perseverance, and yes, a little bit of luck. But hey, what do I know? And as you see, the sarcastic tone is completely different from the motivational and inspiring tone. And so whatever tone of voice you have or writing style, make sure to include that so that your personality comes across clearly in this grant application. And so I'm gonna go with the motivational one. So I'm gonna copy and paste this just like I did with the one previously into Google Docs. And so the word count is 230 words. I would likely go back and ask ChatGPT to replace passion with another word as ChatGPT uses passion a little bit too much that it sounds repetitive. And so now that we know the word count is good, we're gonna copy and paste this into our second question. And so moving on to the third, we have, what are you doing now to prepare yourself to become a successful business owner? So I'm gonna copy and paste this question and put it into ChatGPT. And so this is a hypothetical situation, but you can give ChatGPT what you are doing and then they're gonna spit back a response that's clear, concise, and without grammatical error. And because we used a sarcastic tone of voice earlier, I'm gonna make sure to update this to include a motivational tone of voice and an informative writing style. I am taking deliberate steps to set myself up for success. I'm constantly seeking out new opportunities to learn and grow while also building a strong network of supportive peers and mentors. One of the most important things I'm doing to prepare myself is networking with other business owners. By connecting with others in my industry and learning from their experiences, I am gaining valuable insights and perspectives that will help me make informed decisions as I build my own business. I'm also focused on building my online presence and growing my social media following. Through my Instagram page, Page, I am able to connect with potential customers and showcase my unique value proposition. This has been an effective way for me to get my name out there and build brand awareness. In addition to networking and social media, I'm also focused on consistently bringing in new clients. By setting a goal to bring in at least five new clients every month, I'm building a steady stream of income and building momentum towards my larger goals. Overall, I am committed to putting in the work and taking the necessary steps to become a successful business owner. By staying focused, staying motivated, and staying connected with others in my industry, I know that I can achieve my dreams and build a business that makes a positive impact in the world. And so as you know, the next steps include copying and pasting this into a Google document, checking the word count. Once that looks good, you can do a spelling and grammar check, but ChatGBT does double check to make sure there aren't any errors. And then you're gonna copy and paste that into the grant application. Because I know it's good to go, I'm just gonna copy and paste this into the grant application. I'm gonna scroll back up and fill out the basic information so that I can move on. And the next step in the grant is going to ask you to submit a business plan. It's gonna take you to this page. And so here it breaks down how to write a business plan in nine steps. You can copy and paste this whole entire text into ChatGPT and ask it to follow these rules when writing your business plan. Just for knowledge sakes, I personally would read through how to write out a business plan, just so you can tailor and add your own voice to the business plan that ChatGPT creates for you. And so one, we have block out an executive summary, two, outline your goals, three, describe your business, four, conduct market research, five, summarize your business structure, six, explain your business model, seven, devise a marketing strategy, eight, calculate financial projections, nine, compile appendixes, and then further down, it talks about different business plan types. There's traditional, lean, startup, and growth, as well as internal and annual. And then it gives a business plan template that you can use. And then lastly, it talks about tips for creating a foolproof business plan. Describe the issue you'll tackle, analyze your risk, prioritize your budget, know your reader, which is ink file, and don't spend too much time on your plan. And then further down, it talks about common mistakes when writing a business plan, like making assumptions, using business jargon, and prioritizing profits over cash. And then lastly, it talks about frequently asked business plan questions, like what basic items should be included in a business plan, which they include here. 
And then how do I write a business plan? And so you're gonna use all of this information and input it into ChatGPT so that it can give you the best response possible for when it writes your business plan. So I'm gonna copy and paste everything on this page so that ChatGPT has it for reference. Act as a business owner that has a consulting business. You help other businesses get started by forming an LLC. And now write a very detailed business plan about your consulting business following the, the nine step process included both included here. So I copied and pasted what was on ink file and now I've asked it to include a very detailed plan. And so here we go, we have an outline of the goals, business description, market research, business structure, business model, marketing strategy, financial projections, and conclusion. If ChatGPT writes anything that's incorrect, you can let ChatGPT know that they need to update the business plan and include the correct information. And so I'm gonna copy and paste this. I'm gonna put it into a Google document and save it as a PDF. I'm gonna click File, New, Document, I'm gonna copy and paste this. And then I am going to double check that I followed all of the rules in outline. And so real quick, I'm going to read through their business plan worksheet and make sure that my executive summary has everything they have included in this template. And so once everything looks good, I'm gonna to go to file and then I'm gonna to go to download and then I'm gonna click PDF document. It's going to then download and save as a PDF. And so here is a PDF version of the business plan. For the final step, it's going to ask you for a two minute video or less where you share how entrepreneurship has impacted your life. And with AI Today, you can actually create a video of you talking and saying a script without you personally having to do a thing. And that is through the website D-ID. And here's a quick example. And this can be you right here talking and reciting the script that ChatGPT gave you, all by using your picture in ChatGPT. And so once you get that created, you're gonna include the link to the video, and then you're gonna click next and then you're gonna to agree to the terms and conditions and then hit submit. So as you've seen using ChatGPT, it has completely simplified the process of applying to grants. And the fourth thing ChatGPT can help you with is by answering any of the questions. And so if we go back to the ink file grant, I'm gonna copy and paste everything on this page. I'm gonna create a new chat window. So I'm gonna ask it, hey, here are the grant details, which I'm going to copy and paste from the website. And I like to just put the details in quotes. So let's see what ChatGPT says. Based on the grant details you provided, the selected recipient of the Fresh Start Business Grant will receive $2,500 to put towards business startup costs. Additionally, the recipient will receive Inc. Files Gold Plan for free. If they give you an answer back that's hard to read, you can say respond back as if I am a fifth grader. And we all know we're not fifth graders, but let's see what ChatGPT says. See, the description is a little bit shorter and it says the grant amount is $2,500, which is like getting a big bag of money to help you start your business. And so it makes it easier. It doesn't include all the additional amounts, but it answers it with $2,500. So for the fifth thing you can get with ChatGPT is a grant list. And so here I said, hey, Jack GPT, give me a list of 10 small business grants sponsored by corporate organizations that happen once every year. The organization needs to have given out a grant at least two years in a row. And so they gave me a list of 10 grants back. We got the FedEx Small Business Grant sponsored by FedEx. We got the Amber Grant, the Street Shares Foundation Veteran Small Business Award, Visa Everywhere Initiative, 
Idea Cafe Grant, the NAS Growth Grants, the Halstead Grant, Tory Burch Foundation Fellows Program, the Eileen Fisher Woman Owned Business Grant, as well as the Miller Lite Tap the Future Business Plan Competition. And so all 10 of these are reoccurring grants that you can apply for every single year. And so ChatGPT has completely changed everything you know about grants. Definitely let me know if you have any questions at all. And if there's enough interest, I can create an AI guide on how to use ChatGPT to fill out your grant applications. If you've gotten to this point, you know exactly how ChatGPT is gonna save you money, save you time, and build up your confidence. I cannot wait to see all that you and your business can do. Peace, stay building.